this is a short video on pH values. So when we talk about a pH value, all we mean is a number, a number that goes from 0 all the way up to 14. There are pH values. We're also going to look at the ions present in acid and alkali solutions. So what we have here is the pH scale. You'll recognize that from year 7 and 8. It goes from 0 to 14. And what's important is we identify that pH 7 is neutral. So there's an equal number of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. So the hydrogen ions are H plus ions. You find these in acids. And acids are solutions that go from 6 all the way down to 0. And as we are lowering our pH, as we get lower, the number of these hydrogen ions or the concentration of these hydrogen ions increases. On the other end of the spectrum, as we increase the pH number from 8 to 14, we're looking at the alkali solutions, and within those solutions we have the OH- minus ions, the hydroxide ions. And as we move from 8 to 14, the concentration of those hydroxide ions increases. We say at these pHs there's an excess of hydroxide ions. Here we've got an excess of hydrogen ions. This slide shows us three common laboratory acids. These are strong acids and you can see they've got the hydrogen atoms. So all acids have hydrogen atoms. It doesn't mean all compounds containing a hydrogen atom is an acid. What's special about these compounds is when they're dissolved in water the hydrogen ions dissociate, they split off from the rest of the compound. If we look at the common alkalis we can see we've got these hydroxide ions. So most of the alkalis that we come across have these hydroxide ions. When we dissolve these substances in water, what will happen is the compound splits. So the hydroxide ions dissociate, they come off, and they're swimming around in that aqueous solution. So we've covered those learning outcomes. We know we've got hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions in acid and alkaline solutions. And we know the values from 0 to 14. 7 is neutral. 8 to 14 is alkaline. And acids go from 0 to 6.